this tutorial would be based on uh, two add-ons that uh, one can be used to block uh, downloading on your computer and uh, two to block uh, some specific uh, website that you don't want people to uh, visit now the first one like I said is uh, to block uh, downloading this gives you the opportunity to uh, minimize uh, data consumption for the blocking of a website website you don't want uh, people to visit such as pornography and the likes for example you have a system which your uh, children use uh, occasionally or it could even be you uh, they have their own could they are using you can uh, install all this add-on in it so that all those websites you uh, might assume they will be is harmful to them you uh, just block it now let's take it from the first one blocking of uh, downloading I mean blocking of uh, a website so you go to the tools on your Mozilla Firefox then uh, you click on add-on now remember I think I have it there before let me restart the Mozilla okay I'm talking about add-on so let me take it over again tools add-on then you come to the search and you type in the blog site click on search now there are numerous add-on on your Mozilla Firefox depends on what you're looking for so you just search for it and then when you search you see replica for example I type block uh, site there are some for example sensor only block uh, pornography materials then hide unwanted result of Google search we have Procon which also block uh, pornography well we are going to work on this just click on install okay remember you need an internet to do this okay so you restart the system I mean restart the browser as instructed after the uh, installation so I think all is set now so for you to get it check it under the uh, extension then you now customize it this is it uh, by clicking on option now all this will be checked so you just remove this so that I don't give warning you will just see that uh, the website is not going the bar uh, what's it calling the password is not working or uh, now to add your website or a specific world you don't want people to browse on the uh, uh, system then all you need to do is to either you add manually or you import now importing for example could means you will have uh, put it together in no part I think I have a list here that I used for training before uh, that is CCC this is how you uh, format here is the format you are going to use okay the first one that should be in bracket block site then these are keyword that I want to keyword a specific website facebook.com uh, google.com blah 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 like that so we do use that is a keyword or uh, a specific website so after you are able to put the list together could mean you can use the list in any system then you go to your uh, block site uh, add-on then you click on import okay then select it where you have it and uh, it's asking a question cancel import append or replace and you click on replace everything I have stored in that notepad is what I have here now now but if you want to do that manually just click on add then uh, that's come enter enter again maybe use a keyword then you say star at the beginning uh, food for example star the end anything that contain food in the website will not be bringing so we click ok don't cancel click ok so for example let's go to I think I put Facebook there 
You see it? Okay, it's as simple as that. Let's put Google. Google. I think Google is part of what is done there. So it will not go. So if you want to remove it, simple. Just click on the option. Then you come here. Let me clear all the list this time around, or you just click and remove. Click and remove. So click OK. Then I think uh, here now, our Facebook is just truly. So the same thing, Google. That is the first one. Okay. Take note of that. So then what is the next add on which like I told you if somebody is aware of this you can come to add on and remove it if that person is that way but we need to protect because the password here is not working okay let's see one two three four five enter so if I even close it let me open an add on again does it work no so let me tell you what to do next and that is the next add on we can as well use it to block um what's it called it downloading can use it to uh protect all the menu in our mozilla firefox so that they won't be able to tamper with any one of them so it goes beyond just blocking of uh, uh website i mean blocking of downloading and that is public fox public fox let's wait for that so when you look at it you can see it bring a lot of fox and fox and fox so you read which one do you want there this is what i want block download log download bookmark add on downloads with a password so they need a password before they can so click on install and then you'll be asked to restart after installation restart your browser so here it is I think all is set so remain customizing instantly is asking me for password I think I've installed it before is that the reason it's not there before uh, I think I've installed this thing before let me check out okay I think I've installed it before. So this come with it. If you don't need it, you can remove it for uh, advert. That is what come with it. I think I've uh, used that before. Yeah, I can see. I've used that before, and I don't uninstall it. So let me just put it back to the default as it is. All this is not like this. Okay, I check all this. Good means. I lock everything within the Mozilla. Nobody tamper with anything. And this one they put all. Now, one thing is you can specify what type of file you don't want people to download. Okay? Like uh, doc. Okay? Then maybe uh, MP3. MP3. MP4 okay mp4 maybe pdf okay uh, let's remove doc is always this very small file then uh, which is for efe and so many but the question is uh can you remember or if you prefer okay let me block everything all you need to do is to change it to X. All forms so far. You can download anyone. Then the one you want to lock here, lock download. Mm -hmm. Lock library. Mm -hmm. Lock 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 option, which is very important. That is the one that can uh, protect. Uh, what's it called? The block site. So that's why I even prefer locking everything. So no option, not nothing. I lock down everything and I put a password here depends on what you want okay then you click on ok you can also use this the same thing to block site hmm? you can use it to block site importing exporting but this is the format here 
okay it means if you want to block anything you have to use this format okay if you want to remove so you click ok so as it is like this now may I close let me open the add-on or anything on the Mozilla okay it will ask the password now if I don't have the password no way I can assist all the option there including this okay so even if you want to delete clear history so you'll be able to even have the opportunity to uh, see what people visit on there you can see that history is not there if I want it to be there now I can bring it back so I think this will go a long way to assist you in protecting your children uh, visiting uh, pornography and uh, some website that is not good to their uh, to their age and then to minimize uh, data consumption in your office home uh, in your business and the likes uh, thanks for watching this uh, we're looking forward to the next one we're bringing something enticing that can help you minimize uh, your internet activity and then to protect your uh, browsing on the internet thank you